hello everyone in this video we are given a circle and four squares the first square is this one which have area is equal to 64 square units while the other square is this one which has area is equal to 100 square units the third square is this larger square which has area is equal to 400 square units while the fourth square is given with no information by these given information we have to find the area of this circle let move towards the solution this uh, blue square has area is equal to 100 square units we know that the area of a square is equal to square of its side thus the side length of this square is equal to 10 units on the same line this uh, square has side length is equal to 8 units and uh, this uh, larger square has side length is equal to 20 units while this square which have given no information we call let's say its side length is equal to x now we just uh, take these card in consideration and uh, do some work by card card power theorem we have 10x is equal to 8 times 20 and from here we can find that x is equal to 16 units so we replace x with 16 now we draw a line segment over here which has a length is equal to 8 units and we also draw a card over here this card is similar to the sum of this blue and red line segment it means the length of this card is equal to 16 plus 10 that is equal to 26 from here this length becomes 12 units and if we draw a line parallel to the this line at these points we have the same length that is equal to 12 and this uh, uh, angle at this point is a right angle now we draw a line segment from uh, these uh, two points which is actually the diameter of the circle and we know that diameter of the circle is uh, twice of the radius of the circle so this line segment has length 2r which is actually hypotenuse of this right triangle this is altitude which is of 12 unit and the base is of 26 units so using pythagoras theorem we can have 2r square plus 12, 2r square is equal to 12 square plus 26 square and from here 4r square is equal to 820 and from here r square is equal to 205 and uh, if we multiply both sides by pi then pi r square is equal to 205 pi which is equal to the area of this circle and that is the answer if you are new on my channel then please subscribe my channel and give a thumbs up for the video thank you for watching